Hi everybody, this is Ray Ogilvy in Hartsville, South Carolina. Now this is kind of interesting. This alder tree has a strange fluffy white coating on it. It looks like a fungus or something. And this wasp is very interested in it. This ant seems very interested in it too. I think this is something that might be worth looking into. This strange fluffy white coating is actually a group of tiny insects known as woolly alder aphids. Now these may not look like insects, but let's see if we can scrape a few of them off and get a better look. And here's a better look at them. And you can see that they are little tiny insects. The fluffy white coating is actually a wax secretion. As their name implies, this tree they're on is an alder tree. Alder trees are pretty easy to recognize. They've got these shiny dark green leaves that are pretty wide and have noticeable serrations around the edge. Also, instead of having flowers that contain both male and female structures, the alder has male flowers and female cones. This is the male flower here, known as a catkin. And these are the female cones. And quite often on alder trees you'll find these leftover seed cones. Uh, many people will use these in decorations. Now the aphids don't begin their lives on these alder trees. They hatch from eggs laid on maple trees. Later in the year, when the maple starts producing less sap, the aphids grow wings and fly off to the alder trees. They need both trees to complete their life cycle. Once the aphids reach the alder tree, something amazing happens. The females start giving birth to live young without ever having mated. This is a process known as parthenogenesis, which literally means virgin birth. At first, the offspring are all female, but as the weather cools, the aphids start producing both sexes. They will then find mates, and after successfully mating, the females will return to the maple trees to lay their eggs. And their whole life cycle will start over again. So why are these wasps and ants so interested in these aphids? Well, these aphids are sucking the sap out of this alder tree and using the sugar for food. But the aphids need more than just the sugar. They also need nitrogen. But there's not that much nitrogen in the sap. As a result, they have to ingest a lot of sap to get the nitrogen they need. And this causes them to take in much more sugar than they can use. 
they excrete the excess sugar in the form of a substance known as honeydew. And of course the honeydew is what attracts these wasps. The wasp will drink the honeydew off of the leaves and sometimes right off of the aphids. The ants will actually entice the aphids into excreting the honeydew by stroking their abdomens with their antenna. The ants are very protective of the aphids and have been known to take their eggs underground in the winter and then bring them back above so they can hatch in spring. The ants will even chase off the much larger wasp. Nature can be very complicated.